Kelly gets a foot in again, then Danjuma with the ball now for Solanke, ocean to space for Brooks, which Solanke finds him now, Billing charging on through the middle, still David Brooks, chooses his ball to Danjuma, oh now Danjuma! Brentford in it comes it goes very deep towards the back post where it's nodded back in by Pinnock and then Lloyd Kelly was in the box there's a shout for from both teams for a foul and a chance for Arnout Danjuma now Brentford have thrown everybody up and Arnout Danjuma might have the pace to get away Danjuma's to on goal here Arnout Danjuma yes! Bournemouth in front after only five minutes of the game Brentford have thrown everybody forward for a corner. You don't leave Dan Juba unattended. The intensity of the game continues as Dow's guards ball in. Tony knocks it in. The opportunity on the right hand side for Marcondes. There's a handball shout against Lloyd Kelly. And it's a penalty. A penalty has been given against Lloyd Kelly for a handball at the near post. Time. He'll approach it now. Right footed. And he finds the net. It's 1 1 on the day. And 2 1 to the Cherries on aggregate. Lerma and Janelt came together and then Mepham takes a bit of a touch and Mbomo through, Mepham's brought him down, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, Chris Mepham has been sent off. He tangled with Mbomo, they got caught up together. Sliding in on Mbomo, Jensen with an early cross in, might run for Marcondes, Lermo to the box, and the shot goalwards, oh it's a fantastic strike from Vitali Janelt. Get there, Mepham suspended. Centre-half issues, the ball to the left-hand side for Mark Condes now, drives it across the goal! And Marcus Horse has turned it over, Brentford! Olá para você ligado nos canais ESPN e Fox Sports. Não sei se em 90, se em 120 ou se nas penalidades. Que está empatado em 1 a 1. Lá vem o time do Breton. Opa, foi para o chão e o Arthur marcou pênalti. Marcou pênalti do goleiro Woodman. Fica no chão. Está caído ali o atacante do Woodman. Partiu o Tony. Correu, bateu. Gol! Levantar os torcedores do Bradford no estádio Wembley em Londres para fazer o primeiro do jogo, cobrando o pênalti, bateu no canto direito de cara. Passando ali para receber o Horsley novamente no meio, chute para o gol! Gol do Bradford! Emiliano Marcondes! para levantar de novo os torcedores do Brasil.